The next step in moving from the big picture to the small picture from the matrix is to go to the graphic analysis screen. From the matrix we would click on the analyze button up here but first we must tell the system what it is we want to analyze. We have an existing position in the matrix of a five lot of the 243 calls here in the spiders. Also we have a proposed ratio right right here and we would go up above to the E, T, and B buttons, E means we would analyze the existing position only. T means that we would analyze the proposed trade. B means that we would analyze both the proposed trade and the existing position together. Let's click on E, click Analyze, and this will bring up a graphic analysis screen for the existing position only. Now within this grid we have an x-axis and a y-axis. The x-axis represents the value of the underlying asset and as it moves up we move to the right. As the underlying asset moves down we move to the left. And then on the y-axis we have a zero break-even line and then we have the profit area above the zero break-even line and the area underneath it is the loss. Notice we have three lines modeled here. The solid line represents the expiration line. In this case, it's 17 days from now. The dashed line represents halfway between now and expiration, or nine days in this case. And then the dotted line represents T plus zero, or today's line. Now in this case, we can see that as of today, should the spider move up to 246, this long call position would make $1,100. That's the P&L that you see underneath modeled also with the Greeks, Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega. All right, so in this case, we could see that we could click on any time frame, look at any value of the underlying asset, and in this case, uh, tell uh, how much money we would make if the stock went, or if the spider went up. And of course, if it went down, we would lose money, losing no more than our initial investment, no matter how far it goes down. Notice also, if it goes up, theoretically, we have an unlimited amount of potential gain. Bottom right corner, notice that we can click and toggle and bring in a different way to visualize these uh, uh, values underneath the grid. D means the detailed screen. So I'm going to click on, just to illustrate this, let's go to T plus nine days out. I'm going to click details, bring up the details screen. And this is a what if calculator for this particular position. So it's modeling a certain date in the future, taken from whatever T plus line we were highlighted on. It also brings up a value of the underlying asset, and then it shows us the modeled theoretical price, along with commissions and how much money we would make or lose as of that date in the future and at that underlying price. Of course, all this can be changed on the fly. Let's hit close. And from this point, I want to show you the uh, uh, little purple and aqua lines. These represent the first and second standard deviation. The purple line is the value, is the uh, represents the prices that lie within the first standard deviation as of this time frame selected. The aqua line represents the second standard deviation, which is of course wider. Let's go to the expiration, and you can see how now those price possibilities expand out with more time set into the future. Finally, let's take a look at this wand. I'm going to go to T plus 9, click on this little green box. That is the wand feature. So as of nine days from now, I'm showing you down here the modeled uh, underlying asset value, and you can see then a breakdown of the profit and loss and the Greeks in great detail as we move around to the different potential values of the underlying. And in this way, you could really uh, uh, drill down into great detail into these uh, modeled figures. All right, this concludes this presentation of the graphic analysis.